All right, good morning. I'm James. Uh, we are Better Than. Uh, we're going to have Austin talk about uh, our, our general operation of our ball shooter. Peter's going to follow up with uh, a description of our feeder and our locker me uh, mechanisms. Jason will talk about the programming, and then Eula will follow up with uh, difficulties and challenges we had on the ball shooter. Um, just for your info, we have a catapult style ball shooter. And uh, Austin, go ahead. And, uh, so, start over. <laughs> basically, with our general idea, we went through a few different designs, kind of like a few of uh, the groups had, like the, uh, the tire shooting method, but we, we kind of developed that and we tested it a few times, and it just really wasn't strong enough for, for what we were looking for. So, we settled on the catapult design. Uh, um, in a general consensus, that was probably the strongest way to go. Uh, basically, it's powered by rubber bands, as you can see here, and three motors to actuate. Basically, one motor uh, operates the locking mechanism to lock the arm down. Uh, one motor pulls a string to, to pull the arm down and blow the ball. And then the other motor operates our uh, feeder. And it's all initiated by just one touch sensor to operate each step. Uh, basically, so the, the main body of our robot, uh, like I said, one motor uh, winds a string, and you can kind of see it here, and it winds this string that runs up and connects to the arm and actually pulls it down, and there's tension on that string. So once it pulls it down, this motor uh, actually locks the arm down, and that same motor uh, that pulls the string unwinds it, basically taking all the slack out of the string, allowing it to, to actually shoot when this locker is disengaged. So I designed this um, bow loader, and basically I use one of these things, the longer one, and connect them uh, with one of the motor, and then the motor rotate, this piece open, and the bow release, like this. So you can see, I call the bow release, and, and this piece can go back, and stop another bow. And yeah, that's how it works, but yeah, it face a lot of difficulties, but we solve it. Um, it was straight, like, a straight up like vertical at, at first time, but the ball is too turned up, turn out to be too heavy, so we created some angle and solved the problem and probably worked fine. Uh, for the ball bank, at the first time we used the uh, timing to time uh, like 11 seconds to uh, hold the arm span and like, release it for 9 seconds. And, but it, I think that is not that accurate, so I used the shaker like when I pass it, try to trigger, so uh, you just go down where I pass again, you release it. And another motor is the locker and the uh, boss loader. Uh, and the, the, we, we make a lot of passes on the ball loader because uh, like every time the, the bunch goes out and come back, and it's not the same pace it went out like. So we test many time and we come out like for zero point forty five seconds, go out and back. So how did we got open? So uh, making this ball shooter, we have a lot of difficulties. <coughs> Just like uh, Austin said, the ball shooter basically is because the one motor pulling down the string and make the claw the the arm down. So and. The tension of the rubber band will, uh, will make the arm um, throw the ball. So <coughs> we have to release the string first. So we have to have a stopper to stop the arm in that position. Uh, so we came up with the idea to have a device on the one side of the arm so uh, we can have the one motor to. Uh, Operate the stopper to stop it. So, and the next thing is the connection between the ball meter and the, the body. So we have to uh, create a distance so the ball meter can release the ball to the arm. And the next thing is to stabilize. First, the original uh, ball shooter we we create. It, when it shoot the ball, it would jump up. So we figured it out to make it stable, so it won't strong, it won't uh, jump up again. So we fix it. Any questions? Key. Yep. Thank you.